I'm out in Porter, Maine today, and it's raining. So I'm giving a, uh, a shot to find an old lead mine today. It's, uh, what I know is it's uh, in a, um, a side of a, I don't want to say cliff, but a real uh, hilly, rocky area that overlooks a pond. And somewhere along those ledges is uh, where I think it is. Uh, that's what I know. Uh, I get a few clues looking on Google Earth where there's some big old uh, rock piles, a uh, big scattering of rock pile, and of course that's where I'm going to start. It's not the smoothest terrain, a lot of rocks and leaves, and that just makes it slippery. So, And I don't know what I'm going to find. So, uh, If you're watching this, hopefully I did find something, but it's Saturday and i got to get out here. So let's go see what we can do. And... I just came across an old house and another old, it's almost like a chicken coop type thing. Wow, look at this. Is this the old road, maybe? I'm going to speculate this, uh, well, it's an old road. Uh, an old house. Wow. Look at this. Oh yeah, this thing burned down and well, half of it burned down to nothing. Kind of a funny spot too, because we are, I think last I checked, I was about a quarter of a mile from the main road, so just a house that was set back in the woods. Burned down, left, and that's that's a wrap. Well, something took place out here because all along this hillside is a, just a massive scattering of big chunks of rock, and up here. It's all ledges, but that's where I'm going to search because they're, they're chucking these rocks downhill, so they're working up here. There's a spot that, well, I'm not sure, but it, I definitely got to check it out. See the shadowing right in there, so why don't I start that way? I kind of came in from the side, so let's start here and work our way across. Yeah, look promising from down below. But this is just a crevice. Man, I've been climbing. I just about made it to the top. A beautiful look at the pond. All the fog. But, guys, I think I got something. Uh, two things I'm looking at. More closely, there's a drill mark, a distinct drill mark right there. And a little bit higher. We might have an it. Might have an entrance to something. It's got that familiar shape, and also, if I shut up for a second, I think you'll hear water running up in here. That sounds like it. Uh, we got a little goes in, maybe a little ways. Let's go check that out. A uh, quick wet scramble, and I'm up here. Let's see what we're dealing with. Yeah, we have a tunnel. Ah, it goes down and it's flooded. All right, we're not really getting into it. I can see about 15 feet. And it just, you see how it slopes down. And I can see, I thought maybe it just pinched off and ended, but that same angle of slope, I believe, continues under the water. So I can see three, four feet in, five feet in, all leaves. And then disappears. Hey, right, I'm going to uh, scour the area. We got one opening, so with any luck, we'll have more. Now, this spot alone made that bushwhack worthwhile. All right, back at the opening. So I came out, walked the side, went up, showed you the beautiful look at the water all the way around. Uh, so 
really I think I've covered the area all the way above the massive uh, dump piles uh, not so much a pile just like a spreading of the rocks all the way down the hill that reminded me of mascot so I think this is the spot I think this was the hot spot for the mining uh, as well as just digging all throughout the hillside I've seen rocks like this before and it always gives me a chuckle watch as I come around to the side and all of a sudden that sucker is straight up and down and the half that broke off straight up and down all right I spent another hour out here I went all the way along the bottom of the ridge uh, looking up for anything uh, got to the end went got to the top of the ridge came all the way back looking down uh, I I uh, didn't find anything else so where all the scattering of rock was uh, that's where the mining took place and one spot that may or may not go underground for a bit uh, definitely goes underground but whether it goes for a bit or not uh, we don't know but I had a good time I uh, hope you did too hope you enjoyed this trip up to Maine uh, doing some abandoned mine hunting back to the real world for me and hope to see you out here next time Hey guys, I'm out in Portland. Let's do that again. <laughs>